Brian Valesky with Able's Distributors. I get a lot of young guys in the field that started out their career with digital gauges that do all the math for them, which is fantastic. They don't have to think. They don't even have to know the equation. The gauges do it for them. But then they come up with a set of gauges like this, either for rougher conditions, rain, where they don't want to necessarily take their $800 gauges out to. So they get a gauge set like this, and then they keep forgetting how to figure out subcooling superheat. So what I suggested, and this is the gauge set of a, a young kids, we just wrote on the back, subcooling, typically for TXV, gauge temp, of course I wrote it as RT for refrigeration temp, so whatever refrigeration ring you're looking at, be it 22 or 410 or whatever, refrigeration temp on the gauge minus the line temp equals your subcooling, easy to remember, it's right there. And then on the suction side, for superheat, line temp, LT, minus gauge temp, again, I refer to it as RT for refrigeration temp, depending on what ring you're using, that equals your superheat. Writing these things on the back of the gauges just makes it super, super simple for the guys that have never had to do the math because they grew up with digital gauges, and then they go to something like this, and they're completely baffled and confused. Easy way to remember it, put it right on the back of the gauge. Thank you.